Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you how to shorten curtains. This will be a full and complete tutorial and it will be a method without any sewing at all. So if you're like me and you're not a huge fan of sewing, this is the video for you. As you can see right here, I have these curtains and they are definitely too long, okay? Now this is a cheap, inexpensive method. It's also really quick and pretty much anyone can do it. So the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna get a measuring tape and bear with me because I'm gonna be taking the camera, bringing it to the ironing board and back and so forth. So just bear with me. Get your measuring tape and you want to fold the curtain onto itself and measure how much you need to take off the curtain. So right now I wanna fold, and you only need to do this on one end because I'm assuming that your curtains are level. So I'm gonna fold it like that and I want the curtain to sort of be like that, give or take. Okay, so I'm holding it there and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this piece right here that I folded and I'm gonna measure how much I need to uh, hem up. So I'm gonna go and figure out how much is over folded right here. Um, and it is basically about 16 inches, okay? So I need to shorten this curtain by 16 inches, okay? Now that I have my number, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna remove the curtain. Now you can do this without removing the curtain. I've seen people do it where they don't remove the curtain and that's fine, but it's just easier if you take it off. Now, another quick note, make sure when you are uh, sort of uh, folding it onto itself that you're doing it on the back side because you don't wanna see that fold, right? So to take this curtain off, I have the rod here and I'm gonna unscrew the end of the rod, okay? Just like this, because the end is holding it in place. Um, this rod and these curtains are all from Ikea. They were really easy to install and since it's really easy to shorten them, um, it's something that if you're looking for curtains, you can consider these in my opinion. So I'm going to take the end piece off and to remove the rest of these, I just need to basically loosen this right over here. There's a little screw on the top and then I can pull the pull out. Pull the pull out, if that makes any sense. Just like that and I now have my curtain, okay? so. I'm going to take this and we're going to move this over to my little ironing station that I've created over here. So follow me over here, this side of the kitchen right here. And we have an ironing station that I've created right here. Now, what you want to do first and foremost, uh, make sure your iron is at a medium heat level. You don't want it to be too hot, okay? Um, but what you want to do is make sure, sorry about that, that you're folding it the required length. In my case, it's 16 inches onto itself, but make sure you're folding it uh, onto the back of the curtain. Um, most curtains are gonna have a tag on them. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna look at where the tag is, and I wanna fold it onto the back. So this is the front of the curtain. I don't wanna fold it on this side. I wanna fold it onto the back, and I can tell it's the back because there is a tag on this side over here, okay? So I'm looking at the back side of the curtain. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna iron that 16 inch line, or whatever your measurement is. So I'm gonna iron that line um, onto the curtain and be careful with the iron. If you've left it preheating like I did, just be careful. You wanna get a nice solid line on there. And before I continue also, because um, you're already really invested in this video, I'm assuming, you're gonna need some webbing. This is like no sew webbing. And basically it's, uh, you use heat to bond two pieces of fabric together. I'll show one more time right up to the camera, just like that. Um, and it's really, really extremely useful, okay? So now I'm folding the curtain onto itself on the back side, And I'm gonna measure, okay? So, so far, we want both sides to be at 16 inches. We are actually, I thought it was gonna be too short, but we're pretty much there. So let's straighten it out. We're gonna get an exact line. We don't want any rough ideas here. We want an exact line. So 16 inches, that's about 15. So I need to go a little bit more. Okay, so let's just fold it a little bit more to bring it to 16, just like that. So I like to basically just get both sides and make sure both sides are at the required length. So on this side right here, we are at 16 inches now, okay? Just like that. What I'm gonna do on that side, this side's already at 16 inches. I'm just gonna get my iron, whoop, there we go. And I'm just gonna make a little crease on it, just like that. So I know that that's where the 16 inch mark is. Okay, now we're gonna go to the other side over here. And if you're not explaining it to anyone like I am, it should be a little bit faster. The other side over here, we're gonna bring it also to 16 inches, which is right there. 
So now both sides are at 16 inches. I want to get a nice straight line. So I'm going to grab both edges, get a nice straight line like this over here. And I'm just going to go in and I'm going to iron this entire thing. One last check is just to go in the middle, make sure you have 16. I'm a little bit short there, so let's go. This is the part of precision which, which is going to take up the majority of the time. The rest is pretty straightforward. Getting your line will take the majority of the time. Okay, just like that. A little bit more. Bear with me. If you're still around in the video, I appreciate it. Um, I really want to make sure we do this properly. Especially because my wife's on the other end of the kitchen, so she is making sure that it's done the right way. Alright, so right now we have the line. Okay, <clears throat> take your iron and just iron down. Once again, you want to go at about a medium heat, not too hot, but just iron down. Um, you can also get a little steam if you want. Iron down that line to make sure that you have a visible line. That's all we're doing right now. We're not actually uh, creating a line that's going to stick yet. We want just a visible line at this point, okay? So I'm ironing it down just like that. And once you have a visible line, the rest is pretty simple. We just want to use the webbing to sew it onto itself so that it uh, doesn't come out, okay? So I have my line right there, beautiful straight line. Not gonna lie, not trying to brag, but it's a good line. I'm gonna unfold it. Now as we can see right over here, I have this line on the curtains, okay? So what I'm doing next, is I'm going to take my fabric right here, my, my, my material, and all that it is is just a little piece of webbing that you place on the fabric, okay? And once it's on the fabric, we're going to use a special technique to adhere it, to allow the fabric to adhere to each other, okay? So I'm just placing it, I don't know, about an inch above the line. It doesn't have to be so precise, and you can just rip this stuff. You don't even need to cut it. Okay, so once again, press that down, make sure it's in place, all right? Fold your, your, your curtain over on that line that you just created, okay? So right now, we are folded on that precise line, and we have the webbing underneath here. All that we need to do to secure the two pieces of curtain together is take your iron, once again, medium heat, you want to just go over it, and the total time over each piece of the webbing should be uh, two to three seconds, give or take. So I like to just go over it once, going in this direction, just like that, okay? Go all the way to the end, and then I like to go over it again, because this is now dried up, and it's cooled down. So start it, don't, don't go back and forth. Go in the same direction, so each piece of the webbing gets the same amount of attention, okay? So what we've done now is we've gone over in that way. The end here, I'm just going to pull this on. The end needs a little bit more pressing here. Now what we have to do is do the exact same thing with regards to ironing it down, but on the other side. So I'm going to take the curtain. We're going to give it a little 180 spin root right here, just like that, okay? It's pretty much almost going to be stuck together at this point, but to be safe, we go to the other side, just like this, and what I like to do now on this side is, and it doesn't really matter so much, but now I go in the other direction with two passes. So now I'm going this direction with two passes, just like this. Here's the first pass, like that, and I promise you when it's done, it's going to look beautiful and it's going to hold up as long as you follow the correct process. And the second pass. And now, it should be stuck together. Few, tiny, little, minute steps, and we will be good to go. At this point, I'm going to turn my iron down, um, and I'm going to unplug it, because you should not have to use it. I mean, if you missed a spot, if a spot didn't stick, I understand, but you might have to break it out again. But I like to just unplug it so it's done. Now what you want to do, I'm going to flip it over so I have the folded side available. And you want to just check if it's stuck. And it might take a couple moments to finalize, the webbing, but look, as you can see, look at this, look, 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 it's stuck together, okay? So now, you can put the curtain back up, but you have all of this. We don't need any excess, okay? We don't live that kind of life here. Get your scissors, okay? And just cut above where it's stuck together. 
And it doesn't have to be super straight. Some people will tell you it's got to be perfectly straight. But as long, I mean, it doesn't, you can't really see it for the most part. So as long as you cut it, you'll be good to go. This is just so you don't have anything flopping over on the ground. So I'm going to take this, and I'll show you what it looks like when I put the curtain back up. Because it will look fantastic. It makes the world of a difference, I'll tell you, having curtains that are the right length. Because I already did this in another, uh, with another set of curtains in my home. And uh, it looks absolutely fantastic compared to before, only looking okay. And the beautiful thing about it is that also with this spare fabric, you could do something else with this fabric if you, if you want to. So take uh, the excess, and you can always trim it tighter if you need to, but just cut it off like this. There we go, we're almost done. Bear with me, I know this video is probably a little bit longer than I anticipated it to be, but uh, please bear with me over here. So there is a little piece of webbing that didn't stick over here. I'm not exactly sure why, but we can address that later. The most important thing is to cut off the excess. If you have a part of webbing that doesn't stick, the good thing is you still have your ironing line. So you could just go back and apply some more. But I'll put it in place and I'll sort of show you what it looks like. Um, I'll probably hit it with the iron just one more time quickly. All right, so right now we have trimmed off the excess, okay? We have a shortened curtain, we haven't uh, sewn anything. There's just a little piece right here that didn't stick, so what I'm gonna do really quickly, the iron is still decently hot, is I'm just gonna put some more webbing right here. I'm gonna hit it with the iron again, and it should stick. If not, I can do it later, once I heat it up again. But, uh, yeah, I mean, you don't need a lot of heat for it to work, okay? That's the beauty of this product. I also might have pulled it off when I was cutting, so you wanna be careful when you're cutting. Okay, so that should be good to go. All right, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our shortened curtain and we're gonna place it back up. We're gonna hang it back up. Wow, we're already 12 minutes into this video. Um, so I, if you're still around, I appreciate you sticking around. This is a really, really easy method, okay? And you can totally revitalize the, uh, within the area within your home using this. One other quick little tip is I'll tell you at the end of the video how to actually make your curtains look much better with just a little additional cost and a simple design. So what I like to do here is I um, take one end, we're gonna hang it back up, I fold it, and we're going in and out, basically I'm folding in and out just like that. That's how you fold curtains to make them look fantastic, just in and out, just like that. Okay, now what I'm gonna do, take my new shortened curtain, make sure it's the right way it is, I'm gonna put it back on the pole right here, okay? The last piece goes over on the other side, just like this. Bear with me for just a moment, and you're gonna see, I'll show you how it looks short, okay? Take the end piece right here, tighten it back in place really, really quickly, and then now I'll show you what it looks like once I tighten this piece in. Um, and also another quick little tip when hanging curtains is that this last piece right here, as you can see, I looped it over. I looped it over the uh, piece that's holding the rod in place so it hides it. So as you can see, it hides the holder. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the camera downwards, okay? And I'm gonna show you what it looks like. As you can see, the world, a world of a difference compared to before, okay? Now, yes, I'm going to go back. I'm probably going to trim this a little bit more even because I came up quite a bit there. But at the end of the day, if you take your time, you can make it look amazing. And it's something simple that doesn't require sewing. Now, for the final tip to making your curtains look much better. As you can see on this door, I have one set of curtains on either side. Okay? If you want to make your curtains look a lot better, you can have two sets of curtains on either side. This way you get this very fluffy, bulky end piece on your windows or around your doors, and it makes them look a lot, a lot better. It's a little design trick that I picked up through watching uh, uh, some designers on social media. And it will make, the, will make the door look a lot, a lot better. But that's basically it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.